This is Concho Valley This Morning. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone, and welcome back to Concha Valley this morning. We saw a little bit of a rainfall over the past 24 hours. Menard at 0.44 inches here in San Angelo at Mathis Field at 0.34, and down through Sterling City at Wall, a little over. 0.2 inches of rain. As far as waking up this morning, it is a chilly start. Those temperatures are in the 30s across most of the region. It's 38 degrees in San Angelo, 38 over in Menard if you're in El Dorado, 34 degrees and 35 out in Big Lake. Here's a look at those dew points as well, sitting a little bit lower than those temperatures, but not by a whole lot. 34 over in San Angelo, 36 in Eden, 36 degrees for your dew point in Menard. Satellite and radar picking up on dry conditions now across the all that rainfall has moved out of here, seeing a little bit of cloud cover right now, but overall that cloud cover will really decrease heading into this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, but things will change, not today, not tomorrow, but as we head into Wednesday, watching more rain chances move back into the region, and temperatures aren't going to get out of the 30s for your highs, so we're watching also that potential to see a wintry mix of precipitation for the morning, really lasting all day, again, because those temperatures are going to stay at or below freezing for most of the day as we head into the evening hours as well, continuing all those chances, even the possibility to see a little bit of ice accumulation that will last all the, all the way through overnight on Thursday. As far as today, we're starting in the 30s by lunchtime, 58 degrees, 64 as we head into 3 o'clock, plenty of sunshine along the way. And of course, you want to know that forecast for this evening. If you're heading out, it is going to be cold. Our overnight low will be 28 degrees, mostly clear skies. And and for New Year's Day tomorrow, it is going to be much colder than today. will be around 40 degrees for your high. And putting everything together for your extended seven-day forecast, 35 degrees for your high temperature as we head into Wednesday. So that's why we're watching the chance to see that wintry mix of precipitation. Plenty more sunshine after that. Temperatures in the 60s by this weekend.